And while this room looks a whole lot simpler, for whatever reason, it ends up being a hell of a lot harder than the last room. Thanks to all these, uh, succubi. Now while the succubi aren't difficult to defeat, uh, the fact of the matter is that they hurt me simply because they bump into me, similar to the twin zombie dragons. As you can see, I've already lost half my health to that, and that's pretty crazy. Um, thankfully, I do get through eventually, but not without a uh, lot of crosses being tossed. And not very effectively at that. And there we go. I just had my ass handed to me by one of the weaker enemies in the game. Wonderful. And of course, I have absolutely no idea how in the hell you were meant to avoid that. Apparently, Kalambi is going back to its uh, gradius roots and implementing a bullet hell feature. So I'll uh, watch out for that. Now what you want to do here is of course take out the demon lords and then go after the uh, rose... The rose women. One interesting thing I learned about the uh, these guys, these enemies, is that their tentacles with all the thorns they actually have an incredibly small hitbox, which allows you to slip right in pretty close. I wouldn't be surprised if the, uh, it's only a single strand of pixels going up the very middle that'll hurt you. If only I had known this, uh, earlier, unfortunately. Alright, now this one isn't too difficult. You just need to get behind this guy first while he's firing. It truly really simplifies the whole matter. And then you can just wail on this guy with your whip. Slip right in. And uh, you're good to go. Alright. And that tentacle is like, hell no, bro, you ain't going nowhere. Alright, this is a pretty cool room. I found an interesting way of defeating it. Just toss your cross right here, let it fly on back, and you'll take out all those guys in one fell swoop. Of course, it would look a hell of a lot better if I didn't get hit, but, um, beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Meet the unique enemy of the battle arena, the Devil Armor. A slight recolor of the dark armor met in the observation tower. He now has red trim versus gold trim. And he also drops the very valuable Black Doll DSS card. There are only three devil armors within the battle arena, meaning if you want to get that card, you gotta trek through here every single time and pray. Just absolutely pray he'll drop the card for you. And not to mention things are complicated by these evil pillars which will petrify you. And getting hit by a devil armor while you're petrified is not a fun experience. And of course, the same strategy and method for the dark armor applies to the devil armor as well. But that was only uh, one of two unique enemies. We're going to meet the second one fairly shortly. Meet the white armor. A slight recolor of the holy armor. It drops the valuable unicorn card. Which has uh, mostly healing properties when you use it. Also, they give a ton of experience. I believe I've leveled up, uh, four times now. So, hey, pretty good for something, huh? And, of course, the white armors managed to be much easier than the double armors. Let's heal on up and enter the final room of the battle arena with the confrontation with the devil. 
Now, while the devil is really difficult, what you want to do is watch out for its all its tells. It shoots off a lot of small, almost poison looking attacks, although they won't poison you. And of course, toss your cross. Uh, just, just let it, just throw them all out there. You got nothing to lose at this point. And you gotta be on your toes. I mean, you really do if you want to get through this guy, because he's got a wide range of attacks, and they are fairly powerful. One hit on me will take off about 100 damage, and I'm wearing the best armor in the game. The dark armor. That smog maelstrom. And with that, the uh, devil goes down. Nathan Graves is a god among men. He has just obliterated the biblical essence of evil. And for all of our hard work, we get the shining armor. Thanks to a mistranslation, the shining armor is not the shining armor, as it should be. Interesting thing is that the shining armor is not the most powerful armor within the game. But it does increase all your stats by plus 10 with a 500 defense boost. Join me next time for the final battle within Circle of the Moon. See you all then.